This is part 23 of Angular 6 tutorial. In this video, let's discuss validating dynamically generated form controls. At the moment, on this form, we only have one set of skill related fields. So notice, when we touch the fields and leave them without typing anything, we get the validation errors as expected. Now, let's add two more sets of these skill related fields. Notice, the moment we have added two more sets, the validation errors disappeared and look at this. When we touch the fields and leave them without typing anything, we don't get any validation errors. So the validation for these dynamically generated form controls is broken at the moment. So let's fix it in this video. This is our create employee component class. Notice here we have our root form group employee form. And within our root form group, we have skills and that is a form array. And within the form array, we have got skill groups. Every time we click this add skill button, we are calling this method add skill form group. And if you take a look at what that method is doing, it is returning a form group with these three form controls, skill name, experience in years and proficiency. At the moment, on our form, we have three skill form groups, each skill form group containing these three form controls, skill, experience and proficiency. So skills is a form array which contains our skill form groups. And if we take a look at our view template, notice we are looping through each form group that we have in our skills form array. And this variable right here contains a reference to the form group that we are currently iterating over. So as we are looping through each form group in this form array, we're going to use this skill variable right here to determine if the three skill related form controls that is skill, experience and proficiency in that form group are valid or not. At the moment, notice to determine if the skill name form control is invalid and then add this has error bootstrap styling class, we are using the skill name property of the form errors object and we have this form errors object within our component class. Now to keep this code simple, we're not going to do that anymore. We're going to use this form group variable right here, skill, to determine if the skill name form control within this group is valid or not. So instead of using form errors dot skill name, let's use skill loop variable. We know it's a form group, so let's get to its controls collection, which contains all of our three skill related form controls. Within those three skill related form controls, we want to get to skill name form control and we want to check whether if it is invalid. If so, we want to add this has error bootstrap styling class. In addition to checking whether the form control is invalid, we want to do another check. So let's make a copy of this expression. Now we also want to check whether if the form control is touched. So if the form control, that is our skill name form control is invalid and if it is touched, only then add this has error bootstrap styling class. Now there is another way to get to the skill name form control within this skill form group. Instead of using the controls collection property, we can use the get method and to the get method, we pass the name of our form control. In this case, it is skill name. And then that is going to return as a reference to the skill name form control within this skill form group. And then we are checking whether if it is invalid or not. So we can use this technique as well to get to a form control within a given form group. The span element that displays the required validation error is right here. Notice again here we are relying on the skill name property of the form error subject. Instead of that, let's include our validation message within this span element right here. The message is skill name is required. This span element should only be displayed if the skill name form control has got required error and touched. So let's make a copy of this expression and use it right here. So instead of checking if the skill name form control is invalid, let's check its errors collection and see if it has required error. Remember, when a form control fails required validation, the key required will be attached to its errors collection. 
Finally, we don't need to call this log validation errors method on blur event because we are not relying on it anymore for validating this skill name form control. We are checking whether if it is invalid, touched, or if it has got errors right here in the template so we can safely remove this binding. Now let's do similar changes on experience in years form control. So instead of using form errors dot experience in years, we are going to use our skill form group variable. So if experience in years form control is invalid and touched, then add this class. Similarly, we don't need this binding anymore, so let's get rid of this. Finally, let's modify this span element that displays the validation error message. Similar changes on this proficiency form control. Next, let's remove the blur event binding on all the three radio buttons. Finally, this span element that displays the validation error message. Since we are doing validation for the dynamically generated form controls in the view template, we can do a couple of changes in our component class. First of all, we don't need to have the skill related properties in the validation messages object. Remember, we are using this object to store the validation messages but since we already have the validation messages for the skill related form controls in the view template, we can delete them from here. Similarly, we can also delete them from the form errors object. In fact, on this form errors object, we don't need any of these properties because remember, the log validation errors method is going to add them at runtime when the respective form control fails validation. So we can delete all these properties from here. Finally, we need to make one small change in log validation errors method. The method is right here. And remember, the validation messages and the logic for dynamically generated form controls is in the view template. So there is no need to loop through the form groups in the form array. So I am going to delete this if block right here. Let's save all our changes and take a quick look at the browser. First, let's launch browser developer tools and notice when we touch the skill name form control and leave it, we get the validation error as expected. But look at this, when I make this form control valid by typing something, we have an error in the browser console and look at what the message says, cannot read property required of null. So let's understand what's causing this error. Now if we take a look at our skill name form control, notice here, we are checking the required property on the errors collection of our skill name form control. Now when this skill name form control is valid, then the errors property will be null. And on that null property, we are trying to access required property. So that is the reason we are getting this error, cannot read property required of null. So here errors is null. That's why we get that error. So to fix this, all we have to do is use the safe navigation operator call this required property only if errors is not null. We are already doing that check on experience in years and proficiency. So let's save our changes one more time and take a look at the browser. Notice now when we touch the field leave it, we get the validation error. When we type in a valid value, the validation error disappears and we don't have that error in the browser console. Now let's generate a couple of more skill form groups and as we touch the fields and leave them without providing any values, we see the validation errors as expected. When we provide valid values, the validation errors disappear. So, to validate dynamically generated form controls, loop through the skills form array and then use the loop variable skill to determine if the form control that we are currently iterating over is touched, invalid, and has errors. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.